A new fundraising campaign in Brighton and Hove is offering you the chance to make history by remaking history. This is the beautiful ironwork structure of the Madeira Terrace. Dating from the 1890s, it's a Grade II listed building occupying nearly half a mile of Brighton's world-famous seafront. But it's now in a dangerous condition and rebuilding it would cost around £24 million. The council plans to kickstart the restoration with a crowdfunding campaign to help pay for the first three arches. That'll cost £400,000. The council is putting in 100,000, so the rest is needed in public pledges. Council Head of Tourism, Howard Barden. We're launching this campaign as the Madeira Terraces are an integral part of Brighton's iconic beachfront. The arches mark the grand finale for all major London to Brighton runs, including the bike ride, the vintage car rally, and of course the terraces are a welcome sight for thousands of Brighton's marathon runners as they approach the finish line. Madeira Terrace is also an important film location, having featured in movies such as Wimbledon, The End of the Affair, Quadrophenia and of course Brighton Rock. Therefore we are keen to do all that we can to save this iconic structure. Visit Brighton is proud to work with over 530 partners, including a wide variety of businesses. We are encouraging all of our partners to get involved with the campaign and help to ensure the terraces remain a beautiful part of our city. People donating to this, to this campaign can feel a sense of pride knowing that they have played an integral part in saving the arches. With government funding to councils dwindling, the only way the structure can survive is by somehow generating income for its future upkeep, something it's never done before. So the most likely solution is to restore the arches by sympathetically adapting them to house new businesses, generating money for future maintenance. You can help right now by pledging money at this web address. It's also at the end of the video. You'll not only be helping to restore a building, you'll be helping create new businesses and jobs and transforming the eastern half of Brighton seafront. Many local businesses are already supporting the campaign, such as Brighton Sea Life, the Grand Hotel, Brighton Palace Pier, and the British Airways I-360 viewing tower. The council, as well as pledging money itself, will be doing all it can to raise funds from elsewhere, for example from the government and the lottery. Restoring the first arches will generate some confidence, helping lever in more money and giving the project some momentum. It's a cause the council is keen to champion. Our main message is that this is your seafront, this is part of your city, your heritage, your history. Uh, and if you value it, then uh, let's show the public, show the city, show the Heritage Lottery Fund that we do value it by chipping in uh, and getting this project off the ground. Uh, we've already had pledges of support from businesses. The council's putting in £100,000 to get this appeal going. Uh, once we show that there is that broad public support, broad business support to regenerate this two kilometre stretch of seafront, then we can really get going on restoring the terraces to their former glory. And will you be putting your hand in your own pocket? Absolutely. As a resident, uh, I would be. I would feel wrong not to uh, not to contribute a sum towards this. Uh, and I'd urge everyone else as, as an individual. But as I say, as a council, we've already put in a hundred thousand pounds. So the initial target is match that Brighton and Hove. To make a lasting difference to Brighton Seafront, make your pledge at www.savemadeiraterrace.org. So are you going to contribute to this campaign then, Howard? Of course I will be, absolutely. 